This is my 86 Mustang GT convertible 5.0. Uh, currently everything is pretty much bone stock besides full exhaust uh, our plans for the motor is a basic GT40 build um, we're going to do a three bar upper and lower intake from an Explorer motor the first initial build is going to be um, just everything additional then we'll ultimately try to do probably an on three turbo um, at the end of the build once everything is done we're going to remove the AC uh, and clean up everything that's not really necessary. Um, in the state we live in, we don't need any sort of exhaust or any sort of smog, so all smog equipment will disappear. So currently we have the four lug um, pony style rims. We're planning on doing a five lug conversion with the SN95. So we're gonna go ahead and get that switched out. We're working on getting all those parts now. Um, coming further down into the car, uh, if you look on the inside it is pretty much a mess at this moment uh, we did take out one of the passenger seats it was messed up um, plans to do a rear seat delete we're going to take the gray carpet out the black carpet um, go back to the stock door panels the original owner had uh, a sound system in it and cut holes to the uh, door panels um, and we'll probably put some black ray seats in it convertible top does work but it has a leak in the system so we need to trace the leak to find out why it um, is losing the fluid which is causing it not to go through since we are behind the car we'll talk a little bit about the exhaust that's on there uh, the exhaust again is a full exhaust um, starting from the headers it's a uh, bbk shorty headers then you have the SVE off-road H-pipe. Again, we're in a state with no smog, so don't need any cats. Then I have the SLP loudmouse running with some two and a half inch pipes all the way through the back. Now for the rims, once we do change them, we're probably gonna go somewhere around about an 18 inch billet style rim. Lastly, there was a cheap upgrade of the steering wheel. The horn doesn't work, so we'll have to figure that out. And that is the beginning of 86 GT convertible build.